What's up, everybody? We back. You listen to WTT Radio's The Hey Mikey Show, y'all. I got the prettiest girl in Atlanta. Woo! And it's here that Miss Nirvana Monsters here. Hi, guys. Hey, girl, No, thank you for coming. It is. Well, you, girl, you, look at you. you. Let me tell you. Y'all can see it on the video, but look. But I thought y'all she knew, had though. Dressed. I thought you knew, though, listen, Mikey. No, I, I did know, but I know, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Listen, no. the Saint Laurent person and everything, she came in here dressed to kill. Yes, look, always, she always. Looking like she's going to walk on the set of Dynasty. For sure. I thought it was And bring somebody for Phil. <laughs> I'm about dying Carol got <laughs> right. came back to life again. She did. Yeah. She yeah. You're amazing. You are amazing. I love the outfit. Thank you so much for coming. I've been so psyched to talk to you since I came to your event. It was really good. And thank you for your support. No, thank you anytime. You know, um, like I said, your manager, Kendrick, he's a good friend of mine. I'm always happy to support him. And so I got there. I'm just like, okay, you know, this is real cute. Then the model star gone, the yes. bubble star gone. I said, look, your designs for your clothes. Yo, your line of muffles here mm-hmm. is really good. I like I like fashion that women can wear. Yes. That's what I like. I mean, it's good if you have it for art, but when they can actually wear it, like I feel like I can go to a club mm-hmm. or a function and I can see a woman wearing it. I feel like it's great. Like, what did the inspiration come yeah. from that line? I mean, I wanted um, to cater to the nine to five girl. Um, okay. That's got to be super professional. And I also wanted to cater to the girl that likes to hang out for drinks after five o'clock. So it's because you're both those girls. I'm both those girls. Right. Yes, got your business entrepreneur woman, and you got your girl that like to hit streets. Listen, <laughs> listen, I'm com- I'm completely with that. How long did it take you to get this line together? Um, you know, it's something that I've been working on for about a year now. Okay. Um, but when I put my mind to something and I say this is what I'm going to do, then it happens. I don't sleep on ideas for too long. I love that. Yeah, speak it into existence and make it happen. You do. Manifestation, yeah. right? Absolutely. Definitely understand that. So you are doing a lot. You, you've you definitely grown a lot. You know, when I first got introduced to you, I saw you in house while I was in Atlanta. You know, you had to let somebody know. You don't forget about me now. Don't try to act like you don't know. Because you know me. You was talking to Eva. You was like, no, I'm Yvonne. I'm that bitch. How you didn't know? And I was like, look, you better know who she is. She is not playing with you. Like, that kind of became like your catchphrase. How do you feel when people say that to you? You feel like, like, because I was like kind of nervous saying that to you. Mm-hmm. I was like, I watched an interview recently and this girl was calling Megan Thee Stallion that bitch. And I was like, girl, that is inappropriate. So how do you feel when people say that to you? You know, I don't mind it because the word bitch, you know, it's in the eye of the beholder. Right. You know, when I say bitch, I don't obviously look at it in negative context. Uh, the word bitch to me stands for bosses initiating taking control of her life. Listen. So I'm all yes, about, you know, the woman being in the driver's seat, not having anybody dictate what she can or cannot do. Because, you know, where you are in your life at this specific period is a direct reflection of action or decision that you've made. So if you're not happy with where you are, then bitch, take control of your life. So yes. when I say that, it's to empower <laughs> women, to inspire them to get busy and not to have anybody ever write your narrative. So um, I don't mind it. So I'll be that bitch all day when that's the definition behind it. Listen, uh, okay, listen, that just gave me all my life. <laughs> Takes a drink. Listen, that gave me my entire life. Because the thing about it, I, with being on Red House while I was in Atlanta, you really have to be that way. It's so many strong personalities on that show that you have to do something to stand out and make your shine. Let's you know, hey, you're not going to walk all over me. You're not. So when it when it comes into the show, like one thing I know from the show recurring season, when it's new girls coming on, the girls that are already on there kind of be stand off it. Has that been your experience with them? You know, it, it's kind of hard with okay. this group of girls to you know decipher are these real friendships or is it TV friendships? Oh. You know, um, okay. in one moment we can be sharing a flask of Hennessy, ka 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 kiki, and everything's cool, and then the next you in my face wanting to fight me. Or in one moment, uh, you extend an invitation for me to come and support you at one of your events. And you know, we're girls, girls, that's what we do. We empower one another, hoorah. And then the moment that I send you an invitation to one of my events, is crickets. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm still trying to understand, is, is it real or is it just for TV? Like, which, which one are we doing? Yeah, I understand that because I noticed that um, at your event that none of the girls showed up. And I wanted to ask you about that. Are they just not being supportive? But it's just... Was. You know, the thing with that, as you know, the event was fabulous. It um, was. Everybody they missed out. Was, show. They missed out. The they red did. carpet was phenomenal. Uh, you know, the people who have my back and genuinely support me and believe in me were there, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. That so, is all that matters. You know, you want to hear your family, you your friends, your husband, and your girls ride for you. Oh, like right. y'all were like the flossy posse. That's what I felt like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like flossy posse. Yeah. And I was like, look at them. I was like, you can't beat that because they knew you back when. And yes. that's what I always tell people. A lot of my friends, I've been friends with since I was in second and third grade. Mm-hmm. So they are very special to me as opposed to somebody who knows me from being 
might be doing radio or the blog and stuff. And that's important to have those people to keep you grounded. Absolutely. As long as you have your ride or dies in your corner, then everybody else is irrelevant because you know that's genuine support. Um, and so I was happy to have those folks there. So That's yeah. amazing. You're most ride or die person is your husband. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all, her husband's like, um, so, <laughs> it's like the secret service. She take a sip, he take a sip. She take a drink, he take a drink. They are there together. And let me tell you, hold oh, yeah. this ring up real quick. Y'all, he got, she got a ring ring. Like, somebody like love, love her. Yes. Like, if you blow her way in the wrong direction, you're going to get killed. Like, I'm not going to die today. You better recognize. How did you two meet? And oh tell me your husband's name, gosh. too. His name is Rick. Okay. Uh, Rick, oh, you know, our story is so funny how we met. We actually met on four different occasions before we realized we were the same person. Uh, wow. One time it was at a bowling alley back when Ten Pin and Atlantic Station was popping. I remember uh, that. Another time was at like Mansion Alon. Uh, I was on a date. We was both in VIP. Uh, there was a little curtain in between. So when his date went to the bathroom and my date went to the bathroom, he was like, well, bro, let me get that. that, 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 that. So I was like, okay, you can get some drinks. Uh, <laughs> listen. And then right. um, it was another time, like we had a friend of ours, well, a friend of his who tried to set up us on a blind date. So just, you know, months into our relationship, um, and this, he doesn't call me Yvonne, he calls me Gail. Gotcha. He's like, you know what's funny? Back in the day, I was supposed to go out on a date with a chick named Gail from Cali. And I was like, wait, I was supposed to go on a date with a dude named Rick from Brooklyn. He was wow. like, you that Gail? I'm like, oh, you're that Rick? And then we put two and two together and realized we had crossed paths several times before then. And so yeah, it was it's like it's just meant to be. It was meant to be. It's very own love is. I just love mm -hmm. that. Like, that's, that's really, really dope. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things that, you know, but when you go into reality TV, there's such thing as reality TV curse when it comes to marriages. Yeah. Like, how are you guys avoiding that, steering clear of it? Well, um, you know, him and I have been doing television since 2011 together when okay. we did our, the first show. And we sat down and had a conversation. And we were like, at the end of the day, no matter what, you know, we're here. Uh, you know me, I know you, you know my skeletons, I know your skeletons. Mm. Uh, but there is nothing that man or uh, television that we're going to allow to get in between. Uh, because anything that God has ordained, man can't tear apart. And we agreed that we would never, uh, obviously, lie, um, be disrespectful, or embarrass one another. So That's as long as, right? And you know, we both come from backgrounds. His parents have been married almost 40 years. Mine have been married 35. So mm. we, so we the difference. word divorce does not exist. You make it work, you figure it out. And you know, like I said, TV would never be the end of us. Um, and at the end of the day, he ain't got no social media. That's another thing. <laughs> you know, it's so many Ooh, people that be in my comments. Like, that's I bet smart. you won't at him. I'm like, his at is Yovana Monplaisir. So <laughs> that's where you can find him. So, yeah, no social media for him. Our social media is a family social media. And that's crazy. Somebody would actually ask you and say, how disrespectful can y'all please get some business about right. yourself, y'all? Keep your legs closed and marry me. <laughs> Cut it out. The thirst is so real. That's so disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? So disrespectful. Right. You, clear, you a whole wife. An entire oh, one. Wife. An entire right there, one. Big ass ring. He's right. right there with me. Like, you stop asking for his pictures. information, please. His info is my info. <laughs> I'm, com I'm, I'm completely with that. I'm completely with that. Now, on the show, you know, what I've seen as far as that you and Nene are pretty cool and close and good friends. How is it hanging out with Nene? What kind, of, what kind of girl is she when she hanging out? So, Nene is super cool. Uh, you know, her and I met when I shopped at her boutique in Correct. Duluth uh, a while back. And, you know, one day we went to dinner and we had a good time and we ended up going to dinner again, doing it again and again. And she's a fun girl. She likes to hang out, eat good, drink good, dance. Hey. I like to do the same. So, I think that one of the reasons her and I, uh, you know, established a closer uh, knit friendship is just because, you know, she's real. She's always been very transparent um, mm -hmm. and she doesn't sugarcoat anything. We know. <laughs> and uh, she has a lot of qualities similar to my husband. She's a Sag, he's a Sagittarius. So, you know, anything about Sagittarius is, they oh, as real right. as it gets. So, yeah, that's my girl. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love I love seeing the sister have between the two of y'all because right now, it seems like on the show from what we're hearing and seeing, like it's just so much division at the moment. Then, you know, it's this whole Kenya versus her. What, what, how do you, we, okay. <laughs> what do you get off Kenya? What's the vibe you get from her? Um, mm. you know. Hit the pause. Is, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to say no comment. Got you. Yeah, you know, my mom always told me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Oh, you want to you ain't got nothing nice to say. Shut the hell up, because you ain't got hands to back it up. <laughs> <laughs> I completely understand it. It's just, I know, like, from, you know, it, I remember I was watching Ayama, and she said, you know, relationships between women can be 
rather difficult. It's kind of hard for them to navigate sometimes. And I just wonder, like, how do you find sisterhood from like a group of strangers? You know, how, how do you go about that? And that's what I said earlier, you know, it's kind of hard um, for me at this point. I'm still kind of new to the group. I'm just not sure if the friendships are genuine or not. So other than spending time with them out, outside, of the cameras, that's really the only time that you can decide for what's what. And the only person I really got to spend time with like that is me. Okay. So I, I can't really speak on what the friendships really are or aren't. Um, um, so it's off camera. Well, what do you want people to take away from you this season coming up? Well, I guess the first thing is uh, give me a chance, guys. You know, I know I had that infamous moment last season uh, where oh. um, I was a little bit, you know, intoxicated. But everybody else, <laughs> like, they've never had a moment in their life where they drank a little bit too much and maybe, yeah. you know. I'm going to just give my head a black girl yeah. pack. <laughs> So times. that was like, you know, a, a snippet of who I am. Like 95% of me, the world hasn't gotten a chance to see. So I agree, because I, I got to see more. You're very bubbly, yeah, very personable, very yeah, down to earth. You know like, this girl is fun. Right. So yes. they haven't seen all that. So just put yourself in my shoes as being like the new person uh, with a group of people where you may be the first time and didn't leave the, the best impression. But it's trying to come back in the circle and gotcha. try to just reintroduce. Of who you are. Well, so, I'm a big, yeah. I'm a big fan of second chances, so I, I'm, I'm glad I got a chance to meet you and give you a second chance and see. Likewise. I've been pleasantly surprised and pleasantly pleased. You know, you just, you do good. Thank you. You do good. I like how you carry yourself. You know how to talk. You know how to walk. Because um, everybody can't do both. So you know that's Correct. that's a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> what other projects do you have in the works? Well, uh, of course, you know about Mon Plaisir by Yovana, my yes. new fashion uh, boutique line that was launched a few weeks ago. Um, I've got some new uh, winter and uh, fall pieces coming, so definitely check that out. Okay. Um, I currently am, of course, just getting back into my acting. I'm currently reading a script right now. Can't tell mm. you who it's by or what it mm. is. Uh, and I am currently also filming my own TV show. Uh, it's uh, based on my husband and my life. Okay. Um, we just kind of are giving, getting the opportunity to write the narrative finally, because as I mentioned before, doing these shows, you're not in control at all. Right. And with this new project, we're 100% in control. Um, we've got a story that I think is interesting to a lot of people. We don't have a traditional marriage. We've been together 11 years, married almost seven. He's Haitian. He wants kids desperately. I don't. I was gonna ask you uh, that. So, so, <laughs> I don't. So how do you? Okay, that's is that's not really something you can agree on. So I mean, like, Correct. how are you compromising about that? I mean, do you think you might just have one? You know. But I, I told him I told him all of this when he married me. You mm. know, and to this day he'd be like, because I don't cook either. Like, you don't cook, you don't oh, give me no babies. Yeah. Like, what do you do? I'm like, Negro, I get money. That's what I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of chick I am. So I <laughs> feel like, man. yeah. So I think that there's women out there that can relate to that. So we're you. like, you know, we're going to be transparent and just invite the world a little bit more into our lives and our story. I'm excited to see that. I'm yes. very excited so to see that. Stay because, tuned. Because that, that happened between me and my ex-girlfriend. She wanted babies. And I was like, well, you know, I, I got one. I'm, he's about to be 18. <laughs> Good on that. I don't know if I want to have another one. Be fair to me. And I was just like, oh crap. Right. Well, we're yeah. take some time apart. So that's rough. Yeah. But, that's, uh, but I'm glad that y'all going to show that. And he's showing that you're traditional. Like mm -hmm. I tell people, like, the way I came into existence is my parents met on a blind date on a Friday the 13th. <laughs> so if they can make it for 36 years now and counting, uh -huh. anybody can. I mean, well, in, in the meantime, in between time, you know, we have six dogs. And the reason we have six is because <laughs> every geez. time he asks for a baby, he got a puppy. So I said, if you don't want dog number seven, you better stop asking, brother. <laughs> Anybody want to adopt a dog? Oh, look, she, now she's trying to give out the way. <laughs> I got Yorkies and I got pits. Yeah, you know, I tell everybody dogs. Babies, they don't leave a man. But you know what? You, you know who got more bites? Who? Just take a look at The Yorkies. Of course. The little dogs always got more bite. Little dog syndrome. They think they run the show. They probably run the big dogs away. Oh, yeah. Like, they literally run laps around the house, and the pits are, like, running away from the, from the Yorkies. It's crazy. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So, y'all gonna see that, too. Well, Yovana, where can everybody follow you on social media? Right? You guys can follow me on Instagram at Yovana Monplaisir, and same thing on Facebook. Okay, Yvonne, thank you so much for coming through on my show today. Yes, thank you. I for am super me. happy to see you. I'm super happy to have you. Feel free to come back anytime. Absolutely. And I'm going to be at your watch party next week. You better be. Listen, no we are doing that. Yes. Yes. Y'all come through. <laughs> it's going to be dope. Where is it going to be at? It is going to be on members only. 
November 3rd, and it's on Ralph David, David Abernathy. I know exactly what it is. Okay, perfect. So y'all check it out. All right, stay tuned. We got more of the Hey Mikey show coming up in a few. I will talk to y'all later. Stay tuned. Girl, what? <laughs> That was everything. Oh my god, we're gonna go straight through this. Let's get it. Yes, that was everything. Hey, what's up? This is your boy Mikey. You can catch me every Saturday from 3 to 5 p.m. on WTT Radio and iHeartRadio's The Hey Mikey Show. You know you love me. Come kick it.